Good night guys, quick update again. I decided to add some more rocks to my hardscape. So I got some of these nice brown rocks here and I was able to add them in and that allowed me to make some more caves for these guys and they're kind of swimming into it. The Borrelii are looking good. This one has a little nip fin but that was from the initial adjusting phase this guy actually came with a nip fin because he was in a tank full of other mbuna and he was the only guy in there so he was kind of busted up from that but now everybody seems to be doing okay oh look at these two well, they always have their little squabbles in and about his daddy He's looking good as usual, really colored up. I'm gonna do a pass on my tank so you guys could see. Yep, there's that new guy. I don't know what he is still. Kind of blue, kind of yellow. I'm thinking he's a hybrid. And everybody's just kind of chill. This little girl, she's just chilling. Okay, she's up and down. Now, the good news is, uh, as you could see from here, my female that was up in corner all the time, after I dosed the tank with some Epsom salt and some all natural non iodized salt, um, she seemed to be doing good. She was probably constipated, I don't know. The Epsom salts is a natural laxative, so I guess it helped her out. Um, I still have this holding female here. She's good. She's holding. And if she would turn, oh well, she turned the other way. And my red zebra, he's been trying to mate with everything in this tank unsuccessfully. <laughs> Poor guy. I think I really should get some other red zebras and put them in here with him. Where's my little... There. Oh, I don't know if the camera's picking this guy up. He's underneath here. He's supposed to be a cobalt blue, but he just turned all white. I realize once once he starts to try and mate and breed and attract a female, he turns all white, like ghost white. First time I ever saw that happening. Daddy's trying to attract a female here. He's, he's a pretty cool guy. He's pretty chill. Everything's looking good. So that's my update. Everything's fine. All my fish are back to normal. Everybody's good. Nobody's sick. Oh, look. So you can see what I'm talking about? He's white. It's now time to get back a little blue. Probably because the Mason I was harassing him. But he's a pretty guy. He's a pretty boy. There's my subdominant male in the tank. He's a pretty boy too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. But I think I'll keep them all in. They seem to be doing okay together. Nobody's killed each other yet. And this is the first time I've gotten anything apart from Mbunas in here. Yes, I have my Pleco, but he's one big monster. He's a beast. Look at that guy. He can't even fit in between the rocks there. Oh well, I'm hoping that these guys do okay in this tank. They seem to be doing okay. Right? So, I hope they continue. Alright guys, thanks for watching.